If you ever wanted to measure temperature, voltage or any another analog values in your project, then you should definitely consider ADC0808. All through the present day microcontrollers come with built in ADC. There are many microcontrollers like H051 and even microprocessors which don't have one. Not only it is easy to interface but also it can be used independently using a triple five timer and to clock it and LEDs to display the output values. Before we make the connection, first let's look at its datasheet. So every electronic component manufacturer has a datasheet. I highly recommend you to refer to a to refer to the datasheet of whatever component you use. So before we get into this pin diagram of the ADC, first let's look at its uh, specifications. So this ADC runs on 5 volts of power supply and has 8 bit resolution. So first of all, I will give you all the important points. After that, I will come to this. Okay, this uh, we have to provide clock to this ADC. What is the data given by this com by the company? The clock frequency can be between ten to ten kilohertz to twelve eighty kilohertz. So see this is the kilohertz uh, units. So you can provide this ADC clock from 10 kilohertz to 1280 kilohertz. They even said you can uh, typically clock frequency 640. Anyways you can provide 200, 100 kilohertz, 200 kilohertz, 300, 500. It's fine. So uh, if you are using with a microcontroller, you can provide from the microcontroller. If you are operating this ADC independent of the microcontroller, you can use a triple five timer to clock uh, to clock this ADC. You can uh, okay. So this is the main information, the like specifications of this ADC. So let's look at this uh, input pins, the address pin, the output pins. These are the output pins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 6, 7, 5. These are the output pins. This is the MSB bit and this is the RSB bit. The, uh, this address ABC address pins are used to select which input pin should be read, uh, should be read by this ADC. Uh, this ADC has total 8 input pins 0 to 7. So you can connect up to 8 uh, different uh, inputs to this ADC and any given time only one uh, input will be take, uh, read by this ADC actually this process of uh, taking the input and converting it uh, and giving it in the binary form it will take like a few few milliseconds of process so uh, you can like you can select pin 0 with this ABC address and you can process again you can select pin 1 through these ABC address pins and you can process and up to 8 you can do one of the, the another so mostly it will look like simultaneously your select reading from total to all the 8 sensors if you are connecting so how do we select these pins through ABC bits I will show you that in a second so this start pin you will see OE clock reference reference negative reference ALE address latch enable these are the operation operating pins for the ADC address latch enable when you provide address latch enable ALE bit high pin high this address pins ABC will be selected so if you provide 0, 0, 0 to these 3 pins, pin input pin 0 will be selected. Address uh, table is here, 0, 0, 0 to ABC, we will be selecting channel 0 that is input pin 0. High, low, low means 1, 0, 0, you will be selecting channel 1. Low, high, low, we will be selecting channel 2 up to 7. 
so there is an advantage with this so uh, like instead of connecting all these three pins to microcontroller if you are using only input uh, 0 you can simply connect it to pin 0 input pin 0 and you can connect all the ABC pins to ground so when you connect all the ABC pins to ground these three pins uh, will be reading 0 in this way you uh, pin usage of the microcontroller uh, will be less so you can use the pins of those microcontroller for some other function so while you are providing uh, address to this ADC early early bit should be high once you provide a, this uh, address to this ADC ALD will be high and then you can just you, know, you can keep keep it low after that okay uh, so let's see the op okay well, by the way you should connect um, VCC to POS 2 5 volts and ground obviously ground to ground reference plus generally you will be taking 5 volts and reference minus we will be connecting it to ground so ADC will be recognizing it as 0 to 5 volts and whatever the input values read by the ADC will be measured between 0 to 5 volts if you are taking if you are taking reference minus as 1 volt instead of connecting it to ground which is 0 volts if you are taking reference minus as 1 volt this ADC will be recognizing value voltages from 0 to 1 to 5 volts similarly if you provide 2 volts here and here 5 volts it will be recognizing from 2 volts to 5 volts so this is and this uh, ADC has uh, 8 bit resolution that is 2 power 8 that is 255 values so this ADC can provide up to 255 values so it's like if you are connecting 0 to 5 volts ADC uh, will recognize 0 to 5 volts uh, as uh, 255 values so that is the resolution of this 5 volts provided by this ADC this is the timing diagram for this ADC so we will be providing clock to ADC to the clock pin of the ADC and here it is to the start bit this this correspond to this pin similarly ALD to this ALD so we will be providing a start bit to start pin simultaneously we will be providing high or high to this ALD pin so I said whenever you are providing address ALD should be high so you are providing address to this ADC like which pin should be read by this uh, chip so we will be providing high to the AD and we will be providing the address to this ADC to ADC pin so if we look at this how much time we should provide high high bit here yeah, they said start has 2 TW of S that means uh, TW of S you will be providing high bit to this pin for at least 200 nanoseconds and we will be providing high bit to ALD for uh, at, like at least 200 nanoseconds so this is like minimum there is no maximum you can provide how much long you want uh, like until of once you provide this high bits and this address and you can like um, release these bits like you can stop providing high bits then the ADC will start converting this uh, analog input value to binary so this will be binary values once uh, like once it is converted by the ADC this is the EOC end of conversion so as long uh, as long as the conversion is not started this will be high once the conversion is started the EOC pin goes low so once the conversion is done EOC pin goes high again so EOC pin will be like like uh, ADC will be providing us information it's uh, what is the status of the ADC so uh, when you read low from EOC it means the ADC is converting the data once the EOC goes high again 
it means the ADC has converted the data so while you're coding so in your code you will be writing a condition like if EOC is equal to 1 like while EOC equal to 0 after that if EOC equal to 1 then you will provide EO output enable this is the output enable pin that means once you uh, once the conversion is over you have to provide high bit to OE pin this is the OE pin you can see this here OE pin so when you provide output high, output enable provide high to the output enable the output data will be uh, output will be provided to you through the output pins these are the output pins msb to lsb bit j1234567 this will be connecting msb to lsb as in order to the microcontroller so as long as you keep the oe oe high output uh, will be latched on this uh, output pins of the adc so this is the operation of this adc it is quite simple oh by the way i forgot since uh, you can you can use this adc independent of a microcontroller all you have to do is you will be using a triple five timer and generate a clock frequency between 10 to 12, 1280 kilohertz and you will be providing it to CLK, CLK pin you can pro, you can attach a push button to start start pin OE pin after that you and daily pin so here according to the data sheet they said minimum 200 nanosecond which is more than enough even once if you push it and push and release it uh, this 200 nanosecond is more than enough i think you can understand so i recommend you to go i recommend you to go through the data sheet of this um, adc yeah yeah this is okay this is the in, uh, internal working of this adc so these are the input pins are connected to the analog multiplexer so there is a multiplexer to this input pin that is the reason you can read these values only one at a time i think you know the working of a multiplexer so this multiplexer input is given through this address decoder as i said we will be selecting these input pins with the help of abc I, uh, if you if you uh, know the working of a multiplexer this is very much easy to understand so you will be selecting one of these pins through the select pin of this uh, multiplexer select pin is connected to the address decoder so if you provide abc values according to that the select pin when you the select pin of the multiplexer one of the input is selected and this selected is sent to this um, conversion circuit and once the conversion circuit happens this is sample and whole circuit the output will be latched to the output latch so that that's what i said so as only when you provide oe oe only when you provide oe pin high the output will be provided on the adc output pins see here you can see oe is connected to the output latch so this is the output enable this is the enable pin em OE is enable pin of the output latch as long as OE is uh, enabled high output will be provided on the output pins of the ADC similarly as long as this is the enable pin of this uh, address decoder so uh, when I, I said when you're providing address of ABC to the um, ADC you should enable ALE address latch enable that's what ALE means so when you provide ALE high it will and it will be enabling this address decoder and address will be sent to this uh, multiplexer using the uh, select uh, input select pin so one of this uh, input is selected once the input is selected the input uh, analog values are given to this um, con analog to digital converter circuit it's a sample and whole circuit once the conversion is over the converted output is provided to the output latch so there is the uh, so 
once the conversion is over EOC goes high that means end of conversion goes high which uh, which is the indication that you have to read the output data so you have to enable OE by providing high bit to OE and you can read from this output latch so this is the internal working of the AVC it is a simple uh, all these are very basic uh, electronics concepts